Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday, the 19th of October. Looking at data due or news due out today, the risk really comes with OPEC. This, the, well, just throughout the day, OPEC meetings running, so if you're trading oil, just be wary of the OPEC meetings. Side of that, then we've got uh, Fed Power uh, Chair Powell speaking at 1 p.m. and then um, we've got Lagarde speaking at 1:45. So. I expect a little bit of volatility, more so maybe around when Lagarde speaks as she is talking about uh, ECB uh, Conference on Monetary Policy. Um, so we'll see, but uh, just be aware, 1, 1.45 and the OPEC meetings if you trade in oil. So there we are. Let's look at the technicals and, well, the euro started its, uh, well, it's, it's already been in this sort of uh, last week. Most of, most of the time it was on a downward uh, direction and we're seeing the, the sort of start of a another poss possible down day we have got the weekly pivot above if we do start seeing uh, any reversals that would be an obvious sort of target there uh, dropping down the time frames here and you see the uh, daily pivot here has been touched already at the moment it looks like it could be a soft touch into those uh, Friday's lows there um, uh, Thursday's lows even so they, they may be uh, yet um, targeted but for now I'm just uh, sitting a bit cautiously uh, on as I say with a weekly pivot above there for the euro pound the pound for for goodness knows what reason is catching a, a bit of a the bid this morning it may be that uh, there's been comments said throughout that uh, they may change the, the bill that was put through, whatever the reason, Brexit still looms and they've effectively walked away in some respects, although meetings are said to continue this week. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But for now, the pound is, well, conti continuing with its traction. That four hour is there, um, three solid looking bars at the moment. Um, daily pivot, well, arguably missed here. Trading the pound at the moment, it's a, it's a real hard game in terms of it can be whipsawing backwards and forward. Um, temptation would be looking into this uh, and see what's happening into these uh, res resistance points, the weekly pivot, 100, 200, etc. And just see if it gets a, a pullback because that daily pivot could be a, a target if it does sell off. But it's such a risky one. Dolly Yen. Well, it's not been doing hardly anything at all. Very tight ranges, and uh, Friday was no exception. Uh, if we look at the uh, ranges here, we're going down to about 44 pips a day at the moment. It really is uh, dropping in terms of the range there. Okay, so that's the dollar yen, uh, Aussie dollar. Obviously, dollar catching a bit of a bid at the moment. Friday was just another. It's, I mean, it's another case of the. Uh, the euros in terms of this sort of constant move last week now again weekly pivot above we might just see these sort of hit both on the euro and the Aussie dollar here so and it's a little bit more positive here pivots are so pinched up together on that type data on Friday barely moved in real terms and terms of numbers there so we'll see um, but uh, well the pivots already been well, actually the daily pivots been miss but uh, weekly pivot may be a draw if we can start seeing a bit more shove up this morning maybe that will be a draw to the upside but uh, these markets are really consolidating at, in this stage um, Canadian dollar Canadian dollar gave way more on Thursday Friday well it gained back some um, where to today this could be just so fickle compared to, to depending on what comes out of OPEC really so um, it's anyone's game on that one it's a bit like Brexit and the pound so uh, I'll just have, just have a look further afield New Zealand dollar New Zealand dollar well doji Friday another day I mean Friday was just one of those days where the ranges were so so tight and actually if you just come back to the dailies there look at the ranges dropping down here 54 pips average true range on the New Zealand dollar from where it was sitting in the sort of 90s uh, previous uh, in June sort of time really falling away um, at the moment though looking at this hourly well we're getting high lows high highs it's it is still remaining as possibly one of the stronger repairs there um, so 
is urging it so we're trying to push its way uh, back up there so um, that's pretty much where we are at the morning uh, this morning I'm just looking we've already caught the weekly pivot on there um, so yeah potential further upside on New Zealand dollar it's the sort of the, the better better option the euros are said in summary um, well it's still a bit iffy here and it may just be looking for uh, those prior lows there was plenty of buying around them last time we'll see I'll do some more analysis in our trading room but uh, um, we may just uh, find support around that area okay um, that's it for today have a great one bye for now mm -hmm.